Hi, Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for July 5th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. The reading special is up, Virgos, for 24, sorry, excuse me. The reading special is up for 12 hours only. Only 12 hours, Virgos, okay? If you guys need to make a reading special, go ahead, purchase, purchase two, purchase however many you need to. If you feel like 20 minutes is not enough, go ahead and purchase more. It's at a great price, you know, it's the reading special. Also, Virgos, um, I did, had no idea that Fashion Nova was even a thing. I There's a girl, there's a girl in the comment section, she's like, I don't like Fashion Nova, I like Shan. And I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? So then I'm like, so I went on Google, and I went to go and look, and there's such thing as Fashion Nova. And I was like, what is happening over right now? So... I ended up actually having to remove my Fashion Nova stuff, Virgos, and now we are Fashion Barbie Pixie. Mm, okay, so I don't know if I showed you this print yet or if I showed you the other print of this dress, but it's still obviously very cute. It's floral. It's very spring energy kind of thing, you know? I don't know if we're in summer yet. I have actually no idea if we're summer here, but it feels like summer. It's so hot outside. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm very late on all my videos. Forgive me. Happy July 4th. Happy Canada Day, Virgos. And and I all hope you guys all had a safe, uh, safe, safe, safe uh, long weekend. Uh, I'm not going to get up for my fashion pixie. The dress is too short for me. I don't want to get up and then all of a sudden, boop, and you guys see too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the dress. It's very cute. Okay, it's very, very cute. And I got my Barbie. This one, this Barbie one, I made it myself. I had them made it. I had them make it for me. It's rose gold. It's very, very cute. See, very cute. I made that one. I had it made. <laughs> All right. I'm just my. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just having fun. Um, yeah, and uh, and I don't appreciate anybody invading my space or astral projecting like I see why you're doing it because you're scared shitless because you have no idea what you just stepped into for the last little while but I recommend that you leave me alone if you don't leave me alone I already know what's going to happen to you but if you don't leave me alone you're asking for it and I, you've already been asking for it and you deserve everything that's going to come for you and, I ha and I'm going to stay just like how you're going to stay on me I'm going to stay right on you too like it is what it is it is what it is you want to stay on me? I'm going to stay on you. All right. Virgos. <laughs> Coming in with the strength card, the magician card, and the six of cups. It's like spirit wants you to go back to your roots. Go back to your roots. Try to figure out what your roots are. Also, Virgos, with this, with the strength card, the six of wands, and the eight of pentacles, everything that you guys are doing right now is going to bring you guys the success and the victory that you guys are looking for and what you guys are needing. You guys are going to start tapping into your into your energy. Start utilizing your energy as well. And, and realizing where it is that you guys come from, your roots and all this stuff. And it's saying that once you guys figure out what your roots are, you guys are going to be able to utilize it. And you guys are going to be able to learn how to manifest everything that you guys ever wanted. Also, Virgos, there's this person here who's seeing you. This person sees that you're very, very successful. They see that you're very uh, triumph, triumph, triumph. They see that you're very successful. They see that you're winning at life. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Strength card. They see that you're very strong. You're very powerful. You have a very great demeanor about you that you have full control over everything that's happening around you. And for that, you guys are going to continuously win because of the fact that you have the full control around you. You guys are very much so loved and also protected in every dimension that comes across you. With the, with the magician and the six of cups now, it's like there's you guys had this past connection between you and this person. There's a past connection here that you have between you and this person. And this person adores you so much. Uh, they're coming in. It's like this person wants to fight for you and also defend for you too. All right, but it's it is a past life connection from what I'm seeing with the six of cups, and they're coming directly towards you guys with the magician to the queen of cups. Uh, for some of you guys, I don't see too much happening with the four of swords, but I see that this person is like they're kind of like resting, retreating, taking their time. But they definitely see the connection with the two of cups to the ace of swords. They see the connection. They see the connection. They want the connection with the four of swords. They thought about it a little bit. Uh, they they thought a lot. They thought a lot about the relationship that you guys have or the connection that you guys have. But they're also seeing that you're the type of person that doesn't rush and do anything out of like uh, out of irrationality. Like you're you're not irrational. You do everything rationally, which is very good for you guys on your part. Okay. Now they see that you you've been through a lot. Like this person is spying on you, watching you the whole entire night. While they're watching you, you're watching them. 
with the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, it's, it's like you guys have, uh, so this person here is keeping an eye on you, like they, they're learning from you, it looks like this person might be learning from you, but they're also watching you, and they're curious about you, they're curious about where you come from, they're wondering why you, uh, they're, it's like they're trying to figure out with the Ten of Swords, it's because the Page of Swords to the Ten of Swords, it's like they're trying to figure out, like who hurt you? For you to be like, I don't know, this defensive. Like, what did people do to you? Because you don't look like what people have done to you. You're the Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. You don't look like pain. You don't, you look like, you look like a butterfly. You know what I mean? You look like Tinkerbell. You look like a butterfly, Tinkerbell. <laughs> you don't look like pain. You look like somebody who is very much so... Okay, you look like you're somebody who's very loving, very healthy, very good, independent, self-sufficient. You look like somebody who is just playful, who's very loving. But somebody here doesn't understand. They don't understand. Like, how? How? They're trying to figure out how How do you not look like what you've been through? And that's because you don't hold your pain on your sleeve. Like, you you know, you know, you don't hold your pain. Like, you don't you don't keep the pain on you. You're like, it is what it is. Like, this is how people are. Like, the thing is, with the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords, it's like, you know how people are. So you're never going to allow, like, it's not that you don't trust people. It's just more like, you're not going to carry this heavy burden of saying, oh, I don't trust you, and I don't trust you, and I don't trust you. What you're going to say is, is like, I'm just going to live my life and do whatever I want. But if somebody comes in and they cross you, or they disrespect you, or does something for, them to, for you not to trust them, you cut them off, and that's the end of that. You know what I mean? Because it's like it, it takes only one chance for anyone to hurt you or betray you. And once they betray you one time with the smallest little thing, you keep it moving. Because you don't put you you don't put any expectations on anyone's behavior. Because you know deep down with the pain that you've already endured throughout your life, you already know that someone's gonna hurt you no matter what. If you 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 choose what kind of pain you're going to accept in your life, because everybody's gonna hurt you. But you choose what kind of pain you decide to keep in your life. Do you see what I mean? Like, okay, like, I love you, but I know you hurt me, but I'll accept it because I love you that much. You, you did this to me, I'll never look at you or talk to you ever again. There's, like, people got categories out here. So with the Nine of Pentacles, I do believe that even with all the pain, betrayal of what so many people have done onto you, it's like, you bloom from that pain. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, right? Uh, yeah, and I think more so it's like you guys, you, uh, during the full moon, it looks like you guys are going to be having a lot of fun here, Virgos, oopsies, you guys are going to be having a lot of fun here with the, with the three of cups energy, but everything is going to be balanced out as well. Um, this person here, they're going to try and come towards you. They, they, they might be a little bit disappointed or you're going to be feeling like disappointed or whatever, but I think you guys might be disappointed as well because maybe this person is always hanging out with other people. I don't think you guys care a whole lot if they're hanging out with other people, but I think what you care about more is the fact that how come they're still living that type of lifestyle? Like how come they're not self-sufficient like you? How come being independent or like, how come you don't, they don't know how to be alone? How come being alone is such a difficult thing in this time of era? Like, how come? If you can't sit by yourself, you got you know you got a problem. You know what I mean? Like, if you can't enjoy your peace by yourself and alone time by yourself and you're always going to have to go and be around people, or it's very difficult. It's like, how can you not, how do you not love yourself enough that you want to actually spend time by yourself? You see what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like things like this. It's like some people can't be alone. They need to be with people. And then there's like you, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're always alone. And you're always like looking at other people like, how come they don't know how to be alone? Everyone's different. I don't think it's a big deal if they want to be with people or they want to be alone. But for you, you're like more people, more problems. So you choose to be alone. Nine of Pentacles. And, but I think it's time for you guys to balance out the energy. Four of Cups. It does disappoint you guys a lot, but there's so much more happiness coming towards you guys with the Sun card, Four of Cups. Don't be disappointed. Everything is working out for you exactly how it's supposed to. There's a new loving relationship that's coming in for you. And expect communication. This person's already like, coming in to tell you the truth. <laughs> tell you the truth. <laughs> I was trying to move my crystals, but damn. <laughs> that's funny. So maybe there's like a pirate on board. Who does this? Pirate? <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on that. <laughs> uh, with the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands, it's like, the, you, whether this is going to be you guys or somebody else, it's like somebody has to take, it's a Two of Wands. It's like 
making plans, putting their best foot forward, making the decision to move forward with the two of wands. Leave whatever that doesn't serve you guys anymore and leave it into the past. Let it go, release it, put it to the past. Take the wand that you guys are being granted with and move forward. It's the two of wands to the ace of wands. You see what I mean? It's like, do that. Like, you have to put your best foot forward. Like, you have to make the move first. Like, you have to be the ones to say, you know what? This is what I want for my life, and I'm going to make sure I go and get life. Like, remember? So, there is a hierophant here, somebody who's very loving, spiritual. It could be a very successful person. Maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, too. But they see, there's like a lot of burden between the two of you guys, which is very ironic. Um... It's very crazy because the Hierophant, King of Pentacles, this is a very successful person. Somebody who's got God in their heart, but someone who's very spiritual, very smart, very knowledgeable. It's like you guys are supposed to be connecting with this person, but there's just like so much fucking bullshit in between the two of you guys with the Ten of Wands. There's just a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, a lot of struggles, a lot of both of you guys being tired. It's like you can pick up on this person's energy. It's crazy because it's the high priestess to the eight of cups. Like, where are you going? It's like in your in your head, it's like if it, if it's if it's too difficult, you're just gonna walk away. Like you're just gonna decide to say, you know what? Forget it, I'm gonna walk away. But I don't really feel like you're really gonna walk away. I think just you're gonna let like walk away because it's like because the Ten of Wands is facing the King of Pentacles. But it's almost like you have to come in and step in as the high priestess for the king of pentacles. It's like you're stepping in for the hierophant. It's like you're stepping in. You're stepping in. You're listening to your intuition and you're choosing to step in. I see you like walking away from it. But then I see your, like, your, your intuition is telling yourself like, because it's right here. You don't, you walk away for it for a second, but then it's like you come back. Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. It's going to be like coming and going, coming and going, coming and going for the next little while. And there's just a lot of pain here. Nine, three of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Wands. He's got a lot of pain. This is somebody who's very much so financially stable, but they're going to, they're about to have a lot of stuff. Angels, I'm going to have to reshuffle for a quick second. Yeah, I'm going to shuffle. Uh, this person here, this Hierophant here, he has like two people in his energy. Let me just quickly do it for you guys. Uh, it looks like he has like two people in their energy. And both of these people, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, they are so crazy. They're looking at this Empress. So maybe this person sees you and they want to be with you. But then they got two other people in their energy who are watching you. Do you see what I mean? Like they're both watching the Empress. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands are watching the Empress. They don't like the Empress. But they don't understand that these, this Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, they're actually karmics for this Hierophant. You guys are supposed to be side by side with this person. With the Hierophant to the High Priestess, you're actually supposed to be side by side. That's your, that's your, that's your soulmate. Okay? And this is somebody here who's the King of Pentacles to the Hierophant. Very, very spiritual, very loved. But there's just so much going on. And the Ten of Wands are going towards, are going, is going towards the King of Pentacles. And you're like, I don't know. Like, you're listening to your intuition, like, trying to figure out, like, should you stay or should you go? Like, you guys are trying to figure that out, right? Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, you guys are going to think about it. But I think realistically speaking, like, both of you guys have, like, you're just, <clears throat> you guys are just both very curious to the connection. And you guys are thinking about it a lot because realistically speaking, with the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, I see that you guys are going to end up, coming together as one and making things work but there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to want you guys to have this connection especially people who are on this person's side because it looks like this hier this hierophant here he has people in the energy and i think it's going to be stressing this person out a lot So this King of Pentacles, they're going to have to find a way to get rid of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Because these two people are going to try and find a way to put an end to this King of Pentacles and the Priestess. Because they're not going to want the relationship to go. This person has no idea that these people are no good for him. He'll find out eventually. Give him some time. He'll find out eventually they're no good for him. However long it takes. But you're already ahead of the game. 
because you're the high priestess of the eight of cups you're already ready to walk away you're like fuck it if this person's going to continuously still be around people who are no good for them it's like who are you to tell to somebody or dictate them or tell them what they can and cannot do you're not that type. you're the high priestess you just you know, I, you already know you already know what's going to happen so you remove yourself from it you know what i mean um but i think realistically speaking that this person is just a very loving and independent person they're very protective they're very sweet and they're very um uh territorial but they're territorial for you or they're about to be but anyways, I do see communication coming in with the Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. They're going to want to sit down and work with you or talk to you, but the Three of Wands, it's like, you're waiting, well, when you guys get this energy coming in, you guys, will be, it will work out for you in the end. Maybe this person's at a distance from you. Also, Virgos, it looks like you guys have some sort of job offer coming towards you guys with the Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Some of you guys might have a job offer that's going to be coming in from a distance. Some of you guys are going to be having to travel, whether it be like 30 minutes away or even in a different country, but I do see that an opportunity for work is on the way for you guys, which is going to be able to pay you guys a lot more money also virgos with the page of pentacles seven of pentacles somebody here is going to be seeing your messages the messages are going to come through they might take some time and they're going to have to ask their friends or whoever to like for advice but it says that maybe this person takes like three hours to respond back to your message but they will end up responding back to your message and vice versa i just want to see something and just clarify the ten of wands please just clarify the ten of wands the page of pentacles they're coming in Okay, so the connection between the two of you guys, it's like the rite of passageway. Yeah, that's crazy. It's the rite of passageway, Virgos. You guys have the rite of passageway to be in a relationship with this person because this person here is actually your divine. They're, 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 they're. <laughs> they are the divine masculine and you are the divine feminine. So with all the bullshit that they got going on with the Ten of Wands, they're still going to find a way to reach out to you and tell you and express to you how th that, they, what, that they are attracted to you. Obviously, this person knows that they have to come towards you correct with the Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. But it's like, this is going to be like out of this world type of energy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is a new star for you guys. You should thank Saturn Retrograde for helping you guys out. And then also coming in, I think, July 22nd, you can also thank uh, Planet uh, Venus for helping you out. The, I'm telling you, this person, they got enemies. The enemies that are close, there's they, they got too many enemies that are close to them. These are the people that this person has in their energy is like, I'm friends with you now. <laughs> I'm friends with you now, but you like somebody else. We're not friends with you anymore. It's like mean girl energy. Uh, that song from Eminem. <laughs> uh, you're a meanie. A meanie. Like this person doesn't realize that their friends are going to switch up on them so badly to the point where they might end up actually attacking them because I do see that there is a lot of spiritual work here too. Five of Swords, Judgment, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, if they even come and disturb you or this relationship, judgment's already going to be placed on them. Like, I think in the in the end, it's like, this is going to be a really rude awakening for, the, for your person. Yeah, I'm telling you guys that because when two people are meant to be together, you're already self-sufficient and you're alone. Like, all you need is a partner to be by your side to, like, you don't need them for shit. You 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 want them and you want to have a partner so you can f fulfill that. But this person is still lingering around with other people, and when they're gonna be going through a huge rude awakening when they realize that their friends are not their friends. If your friends are gonna be able to quickly attack you and act like they're good for you to your face, but then behind your back they're giggling and running their mouths and talking shit, that's a fucking rude awakening. That's a rude awakening. You're gonna you you got a rude awakening coming towards you. So it's either you're gonna step up. And come to the priestess or you're going to fall back and be around people who are going to hold you back and slow you down. What are you going to do? What do you choose? Five of swords, judgment card, five of pentacles. That's crazy. Stay away. It's like a setup. It's like these people are quickly, so quick to set people up. But judgment card is already here and the five of pentacles. Even if they try to do anything onto you guys, you cannot be touched. You are protected during your spiritual awakening. You're going to be protected during the rude awakening. You're going to be protected. You're going to have to leave people behind. I do believe that your enemies are going to be so messed up that you're going to have to call judgment on them as well and, like, just leave them by themselves. But you guys got, like, five people that you always hang out with. I think out of all five people, and none of them are fucking good for you. Virgos, do your thing. Figure it out. Or this other person, right? Ace of Cups is coming in. Yeah. 
King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's crazy. That's crazy. The Tower card's coming in for the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It has to come in. It has to come in because this is going to be a very tre uh, treacherous time for this King of Swords. Because it's a rude awakening. It's a, it's a rude awakening. And then on top of that, it's a spiritual awakening as well. Too much is happening. But I do see that because you're the priestess, you will... You, you, you take care of shit. You know what I mean? You handle your business. Uh, the world card. It's like you don't leave this person. Like you don't abandon this person. You don't abandon them. Whatever it is. Because it looks like you know too much. You, you know too much already. So you don't abandon them. You don't. It's the world card. No way. No, you don't. Like you see things for exactly what it is. But this king of swords is also going to have to open up their eyes and see things for exactly as they are. Like, stop pretending shit is not the way that it is. Start seeing things for exactly as it is. You're the higher fit. Why are you, why are you pretending to act like, this? no, this is not. It's this. This is how it is. Don't doubt yourself, right? The fool card. And when this person sees that, uh, they're going to start moving forward. Yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. They're going to feel like they lost a lot, but I don't think they lost anything at all. This is like a, an opportunity for them to feel like, yeah, 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 you did. You made the changes, and you went through your spiritual awakening, and then you went through your root awakening at the same time. It's like too much all at one time. And then you got, you released yourself from a lot of people who are not good for you. So it's like you lost nothing, five of cups, because with the five of cups, you lost nothing, and then you gained the ten of cups. You know what I mean? It's like you lost nothing, five of cups. Five of cups to the ten of cups, you lost nothing. You gained everything that you needed to gain because you went through the process of the tower. You did that. Right? And because you did that, you're not much more resilient now. You're, you're, you're resilient. You see things for what it is now. Like that veil, the deception, the bullshit, the lies. By the new moon energy, you're going to be just fine. So this person's going to have to make a decision with the Seven of Cups. And they're making a decision to come towards you guys. Very loving and very charming energy from this person, right? And they're going to have to put an end. I'm telling you, these ones, these ones, they're back together again. They, they're going to try and destroy this person. Because they cannot handle you. You're the Empress. You're the Divine Feminine to the Four of Wands. You are the wish fulfillment. You are the angel. You are the one that makes a home into a home. You are... Yo, are you mean? You know what I mean? Like, you're the Empress of the Four of Wands? You're... This is the person you're meant to be with. And then this one here, again. These two are stuck by each other. The Queen of Swords to the Queen of Wands? They're like trying to find ways to end this person. Yo, but they're saying like this, you cannot end this person. Like, you cannot end them. I'm not going to say the word. But this is the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords are side by side each other. Wherever you go, I go too. If you want to do that, then I'm... <laughs> Yo, these, these two are treacherous. Like the Queen of Swords is rude as frig. And it's like the Queen of Wands backs up the Queen of Swords. She backs the Queen of Swords up and she's not right for doing that. It's like, whatever you do, I do too. It's like two witches who are, who are ready to, who are ready to put it, to destroy somebody. And they are deceptive. And I promise you this for sure. The Queen of Swords may have liked the Hierophant. The Hierophant don't like this person. Maybe the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands are jealous of the Empress. Yeah. They're trying to end the Empress. And this person doesn't see that. Like, they don't want to. <laughs> Anyway, they're just, they, 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 you're the one that they want. Anyway, fuck it, Virgos. Who cares? You know? <laughs> People are going to be hateful no matter what. Five of Wands. It's like, they're all in drama. They're all in competition with you. They're all trying to start some shit with you. They're all trying to uh, do stupid shit with, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're all trying to do some stuff that they shouldn't be doing. And you guys got a lot of people from, like, different, from, you guys got a lot of people from different areas, from wherever, Coming in to try and ruin this connection. Like, this person got people on on their side to try and ruin this relationship. Yeah, I see more so on their side. I don't I don't really see your side energy. I see more side... I see more, like, their energy. Okay? I see more their energy. I had grass in my hair. <laughs> How do I get grass in my hair? <laughs> so funny. I don't know. There's always something going on with me, Okay? <laughs> Uh, Virgos, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so jokes. You know me, Virgos, I don't care. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny. So, th- like, this person is gonna be, like, trying to fight. Like, they're trying to... They're, 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 but they cannot. What's yours is yours. You are the four... You are the 411. A lot of you guys are gonna be saying that the number's 411. The number's 555. 1111 is gonna be coming in very strong for you. The number's 110 is also gonna be coming strong in for you guys. 000... zero, zero but heavy on the 111. Make sure you guys your manifestations are going to be staying very, very pure, very strong, very positive, very pure energy. 555, five, five, it's time to make changes that you guys need. I do believe that you and this person are going to be able to co- connect to each other on a telepathic level, which is going to be able to help you guys out. I do believe, Virgos, that because the Five of Wands to so the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, these people here, they think that they're entitled. They think that they're entitled. They think that they're better than you. They think they're entitled. Look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> they are not entitled to anything. They are just like very egotistical. They think that they can have anything that they want. Uh, and the number eight, eight is coming in. Eight, eight, eight. Whoa, I didn't even mean to. That's energy of karma, Saturn energy, eight, eight, eight. Sad. So karma is going to be coming in for the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. They think that they're going to be able to try and end you, Empress. And Spirit and the Angels are saying, sorry, we're going to end you before you even attempt to try and end this Empress. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be stupid, you want to be egotistical with fight with people and, and be hateful and jealous. Yeah, go on then, all right? So this is the devil, but you got the devil underneath your feet. You have the empress, you have the devil underneath your feet. Meaning the devil doesn't control you, you, you control the devil. You see what I mean? It's like that picture where it's like a devil comes in, you have the devil like wrapped up in shit. And it's like, when the devil's like all wrapped up in shit, it's like, shh. <laughs> You know that picture? It's like, shh. Like, you control the devil. Like, the devil fears you. And this person's trying to send the devil to you. But it's like, you have full control of the devil. People are just dumb. Yeah, because you're too smart and you're too wise. Uh, there's going to be a Virgo, a Capricorn, who's about to reach out to you, Virgos. This person's going to take full control. They're ready to come in there and they're going to message you. With the Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, they're done struggling. They're done thinking too much. They're like, the, their ego is also clashing with their... their they're, 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 it's too much shit is happening with this person, but they are going to take initiative and they are going to reach out to you to a pentacles and they've been going back and forth on how it is that they want to talk to you, communicate with you, see you, whatever the case is, but they are going to make a, a move to come for you. I do believe that this person is going to have no choice but to take on the role of the emperor energy. Whether they like it or not, they have to be a man and they have to be a woman. They have no choice because you're here and they're here. Like this. This is exactly because they're in the middle of the reading and you're at the top of the reading. There's just a few things that are going on before you guys can get into connection with this person so you guys can be side by side. You guys got one, two, three, four, five, six. You guys got seven cards in between, right? You're here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this one in the middle of the bottom. You guys got seven cards in between before you guys get side by side with each other, so give it some time, right? But by the time it comes in, this person's going to contact you, reach out to you, speak to you. Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords, you guys get too much into your head. I do believe, Virgos, that there's a lot of manifestations that are happening around you guys that you guys might end up getting a little bit stressed out about it, but I think everything is going to be okay. Some of you guys are so fearful of it's like you guys get so scared of success but you're also but you also get you you guys are so used to being in the nine of pentacles that you guys like accepted life for what it is but it's like what if you can have it all what if you can have the money the success the career the victory the the recognition the husband the ch- what if you guys can actually have it all and that's what's going in your head. The, uh, the Remember I always talk to you guys about the words what if? I'm like, you remove it from your head because it doesn't exist. But this is, what you got, this is what you guys are feeling. Like, what if I can have it all? And it stresses you guys out because a lot of you guys got used to life being like, it is what it is. Like if I'm, you know, it is what it is. So it's like, get out of your head because this is the time for you guys to get everything you guys want. It's like, but what if you can have everything in the world, Queen of Pentacles? What if you can have everything you want in the world? What if... This is not all life is going to be. You know what I mean? And it's not. You guys got to get out of your head. It's the star card. You can have everything in the world that you want. The, it's real great because for the serious star gateway portal for you guys, the galactic portal, it's like uh, some of you guys manifested into what you needed to do. It's saying that that star is coming through for you guys because you guys are coming in. Like, did you guys feel so sick? Hey, did you guys feel so sick? <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> Did you guys feel sick on July, on July, uh, it was July 3rd, on the portal energy? <laughs> My God, was it ever strong. <laughs> It was like, it was like so freaking strong. Holy shit. Oh my God, was it ever so strong? Yeah, that's crazy. But you guys are going to just get out of your head a little bit, all right? With the Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, because it looks like you're going to get everything in the world that you ever wanted. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, you do. You get it. You get everything in the world that you ever wanted. Nobody can take nothing away from you. Seven of Swords, right? Uh, with the Seven of Swords, it's like there's an Aquarius here. Who's like, they're trying to lie to themselves. Like, no, I don't. But they do. They do. This person sees you. And it's like, they're going back and forth. They're trying to make a decision on what their next move is going to be. I do believe that with this Aquarius, they may have did something bad behind your back. But it's like, they take it back. They take it back. And they're starting to fall in love with you. Maybe this person, like, deceived you or betrayed you, and they thought that they're going to be able to get away with it. I do believe, Virgos, that you guys are already well aware of it at this point. Like, you guys, like, you guys, uh, you guys are aware what, of what this person did. You know that they did something they should never have done. You know that they deceived you. You know that they did something. But you are also very loving and also forgiving. So it's like, you don't accept their behavior, but you do know how to forgive because everyone is not perfect and everybody does make mistakes. With the Seven of Swords, King of Cups, it's like this person knows. They know it. And because they know that they did bad on you, it's like they have to surrender now. Like they're, they're not sure if you're going to want to be with them or talk to them, but they love you. They, it's like they, they did something that they should never... They love you. It's the Four of Pentacles. They're like still holding on to your energy. They, they want to make it work with the Temperance card. Ten of Pentacles. They need to make it work. I do believe that the betrayal and deception would have came from the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Both of these two bitches did something to get this Aquarius to do something that he should never have done. And then maybe this person like fell in love with you. And they're sitting there begging him. Hey, please! <laughs> we'll pay you! It's like, buzz off. Yeah, you cannot. You cannot be their friends anymore. Three of Swords. It's definitely, it hurts you that you hurt this, it, you know, Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It hurts you that you hurt this Virgo or Virgo and vice versa. Like, you feel bad that you did something like this. Like, you don't feel good. Like, you feel really fucked up. Three of Swords. You feel fucked up for what you did. And it's like, it, it runs through your mind. Or at least it's going to be running through your mind that you did something that you should never have done. You are, it's time for you to take control. You're the king of wands to the knight of swords. You need to take control of your life. You need to understand where and set boundaries where people where people need to understand like this is not how you do things. Like like don't let people rely on you to do hurt and harm other people. You know, king of wands, knight of swords. I think you guys are going to be very fast on figuring out how to cut people out of your life or cut these two women or men out of your life. But I think realistically speaking, you're going to try and find ways to make it better. I also believe, Virgos, that because you guys are very loving and of divination, it looks like you're going to send this person healing energy. Because you know who they are and you know who their soul is for you. So even if they did betray you, I do see that you're going to send them healing energy anyway. That's just who you are. You're just a loving healer. You're like an earth angel. You're a healer. And because you guys know that this person broke their own heart by doing something they should never have done, it is a lesson for them to learn. But I don't believe that this person's ever going to repeat that, repeat that ever again. The torment of them thinking on how they hurt you with the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords is causing them so much chaos, problems, conflict, and maybe even tears and sleepless nights. This person is continuously seeing crows and they're scaring the shit out of them. <laughs> and it's scaring the shit out of them. They're just like, what are all these crows? <laughs> yeah, the crows are telling you, yo, you did wrong. You did wrong. You don't betray people like that. You don't hurt people. This person's sending you love and healing energy and this is what you do to them. The king of wands is going to take control of their life and they're going to make a, make, make a fast move with the knight of swords to take action and to come towards you. But I do see that there's just a lot of complications in between you guys. If you guys can overcome it and make everything be okay, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Thanks, cuties. Bye.